One thing I've come to notice and expect in Call of Duty is that if it doesn't make sense, it's probably going to work. Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo or Carl Hunga 712 and today I'm bringing you a little tips and tricks video if you guys haven't noticed this. I'm sure if, if you guys have been playing pubs and stuff or if you play UMGs, you know that it's banned on there, so it must be pretty good. But uh, I don't know if you guys have come across this lately, but... It's something that it seems like in every match I play in anymore, everybody's doing it. And it's basically putting the Varric scope on any submachine gun. Now the Varric actually works with all the other weapons just as well too. Uh, um, it definitely works on assault rifles as well. And um, I think sniper rifles it, it works well with too. But of course a sniper rifle you can only fire a shot at a time really. But in case you guys did not know this, if you put a Varric scope on pretty much any gun, but especially the submachine guns, it's like adding a couple of foregrips to the weapon. Uh, the gun's almost unfair to use, and you'll see that in this gameplay. I end up going 40 and 1 on Nuketown with the uh, Varric scoped uh, Weevil here. One of my favorite guns in the game. I love the Weevil. It's nice, it's nice to have a 50 round clip, and I've got extended mag, so I've got 70 rounds. It's pretty much an LMG. I don't. I never have to reload this gun, pretty much. But um, you're gonna see how unbelievably overpowered this this fucking attachment is on this gun. And I, it, like I said in the opening, in Call of Duty, I've come to I've come to expect that if it doesn't make sense, it's probably going to work a lot of times. And of course, you know, I've always said this. I, I don't understand people who put a rifled scope on a submachine gun. Well. After noticing everybody doing it, I said to Quinn the one night, because Quinn and I were playing a few nights ago, I said to him, I said, let's, let's go in and just play a couple of normal games. Uh, I think we went into Chaos Mosh, but is where we actually ended up going. And I said, let's, let's throw the Varric Scope on some of these guns. Um, I, think, I think at first I tried it on the, the Vesper, and it worked pretty well, but the Vesper just, it, the kill range on the Vesper is so low. It's so minuscule that I said, oh, you know what the hell, let's try it on the VMP and let's try it on the Weevil and the CUDA. Some of these guns, some of the big time guns. And it, it was just absolutely ridiculous. Like I said, there was absolutely no recoil. And I apologize for the Cerber, or Cerberus gameplay here. Um, I end up going through my streaks, I think, three times on here. But uh, uh, I know it's supposed to be a tips and trick video, but also, hey... This is the best loadout I've for kill streaks, also in my opinion. Uh, put on the Cerberus, the Wraith, and the uh, spicy red Dorito uh, Dorito chips. The uh, the good old VSAT or the what is it, the Hater on Black Ops Three. Incredible, incredible kill streaks. They build on each other. Uh, of course, with the Hater, you give you assist your team out and yourself, and you get points for doing so. So um, I always recommend running the Hater. The VSAT, the SR-71, how, however you want to look at it, I always recommend running that. But, Anyways, and of course the, on the Weevil, I think my attachments this game were, it, it was stock, the Varric Scope stock, and uh, extended mag. Um, quick draw is uh, always a good thing to run on guns if you want to get into the gunfight a little quicker. Like I said, I'm an assault rifle player typically, not always, but typically, so I'm, I'm usually pre-aiming corners anyways, I don't really need quick draw, but... Quick draw is great to run on it, but uh, the extended mags on the Weevil is just ridiculous. Like I said, you, you almost never have to reload this gun. And I mean, look at look at these shots. I mean, my shot was on, no doubt, but I mean, I, it's just it's a laser beam. I just I just have to hold it on target, and the gun, you know, the Varix does the rest for me. So, if you guys have not tried this setup, go out there and start putting the Varix on every gun that you you can use. Like I said, the sniper rifles, it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. I haven't used the, the Draken uh, very much lately, and uh, the PO6, I don't know if it'd work on that one too well, but, you know, your bolt actions, it, it you know, the Varix isn't gonna, going to matter. It's not going to matter. Having the having a uh, bolt action rifle kick a little less, or not kicking quite as hard, because the gun's going to resettle in time anyway. So, uh, like I said, I wouldn't worry about it that way. And Oh, God, I... I I thought my streak was over right here when that uh, when that Rolling Thunder came in, which I think is one of the worst kill streaks in the game. I, I really don't understand why people use the Rolling Thunder. Um, like I said, I think it's pitiful. But I mean, just look at those shots there. I mean, it's it's just a laser beam. I don't, you know, I could almost you can almost hip fire this gun and just with the very. I'm of course got to aim in, but it's just like hip firing. You just have to kind of put it on target and it's going to stay there. 
but like I said, just absolutely ridiculous. So I do do recommend that. Like I said, I, I thought it worked best with the Weevil just because of the way the Weevil is. Um, it's already a pretty accurate gun. Like I said, it does make the VMP and the CUDA even better. Um, but with extended mags, like I said, this gun's almost like an LMG. So if you guys want uh, some tips and tricks, if you want to get a little sweaty, up your KD a bit, use the Varix on some of these guns. It's ridiculous. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm hoping to see you guys all Friday for the uh, Black Ops 2 live stream. But uh, we'll see you next video and bow out.